warning Chinese invasion of America contrary to what the power brokers would have you believe in order that you'll give up your pension, cut your wages, and settle for the life that people live in a third world country. The globalists want you to believe that your nation is broke, and there is nothing you can do about it. America is not broke, in fact the opposite is true. The United States of America is awash in an unimaginable amount of mineral wealth. What belongs to the people has been transferred, in the greatest theft in world history, from the workers and consumers to the government as well as the banks and the portfolios of the criminal elite gangsters, which control the politicians with insider trading and outright bribes. The banks are able to loan against the value at a ratio of 9 to 1 in this modern-day version of fractional reserve banking. However, the biggest theft of American assets is literally happening right below our noses. The banks will soon forsake their holdings as the government, as I am being told, will move to nationalize every bit of mineral resource wealth in this country under Executive Order 13603. Today just 400 Americans have more wealth than half of all Americans combined. Despite this grim statistic which reveals the wealth imbalance in this country, our nation has never been wealthier. Far beneath the ground, the federal government and its bankster puppeteers own the rights to mineral and energy leases, from which they receive royalties, rents, and bonus payments, states the Institute for Energy Research, an industry group. According to their estimates, government states that the assets are worth $128 trillion. That's almost eight times the national debt. These resources could be leased to third parties, and could subsequently earn the state and national government huge royalties, rents, and bonus payments that estimates could total almost $150 billion over 10 years, just for the oil and gas leases alone. Then why isn't this being done? Simple, ask yourself who would lose money, if this were to come to fruition? These vast resources have been promised to the Chinese and they are moving to take possession. Already, the Chinese are in Hawaii to take possession of what gold America has left. Speculation abounds that this is why Obama is in Hawaii to personally supervise the transfer and to arrange for the transfer of mineral wealth. Many of my military sources tell me that a series of international inland ports will be created in conjunction with known mineral-rich areas and control of these areas will be handed off to the Chinese. Further, the Chinese military will be stationed around these inland ports to ensure safety and security of the Chinese investment and its mining and geological personnel. This will be the foothold of their invasion force. For reasons to be discussed in the latter part of this article, there is a much more ominous reason why the Chinese troops will soon be a common occurrence on American soil. This will constitute only the beginning of the short-range takeover the Chinese have planned for America. Confirmation of the fact that the Chinese will soon be taking possession of American mineral resources comes from a former CIA agent. On December 22, 2013, I interviewed Nobel Peace Prize nominee and the man who delivered the message which ended the Iranian hostage crisis, Dr. Jim Garrow, who was indeed a 43-year deep cover CIA agent. During the course of my interview with Dr. Garrow, he unequivocally stated that China will be taking control of our mineral-rich land resources in repayment for the tremendous debt the United States owes China. This would be a revelation that some will challenge, because the bury my head in the sand crowd is frightened by Dr. Garrow's revelations, except, I reported the existence of, as well as the estimated dollar amount of this mineral wealth on February 6, 2013 on my website and shortly after that, I aired these facts on the Dan Koffall show airing in Dallas Fort Worth on station 1190 AM a short time later. The entire Garrow interview can heard here. America's debt, as it has been widely reported, America has three levels of debt, which needs to examine in context with this stunning revelation of largely unknown mineral wealth. National deficit of $17 trillion dollars and funded liabilities $238 trillion dollars in the form of Social Security, Medicare, etc. Derivatives debt estimated at between $1 quadrillion to $1.5 trillion dollars. As one can clearly see, we can pay off our immediate bills and cover more than half of our unfunded liabilities. The derivatives debt should be repudiated 
because it is the result the result of illegal banker investments. America has the ability to stem the debt tide. With the development of these assets along with getting rid of the parasitic Federal Reserve, America could be back on the path of national prosperity. However, this does not fit into the globalist agenda, which seeks to totally destroy America as well as most of the people within the country. America and the globalist agenda The globalist goal is to establish a one-world government and a one-world economic system, which is nearly complete as I write these words, which is ruled with extreme authoritarianism and brutality in a futuristic version of neo-feudalism. To accomplish these goals, there can be no bill of rights and American prosperity must be obliterated. This is what we are in the midst of at this time, as America is being torn down brick by brick. As I have written, America is one false flag event away from a genocidal version of martial law. The Chinese military constitutes one of the flavors of the martial law occupation forces. Giving away America's mineral resources to China accomplishes a number of goals. First, America will never financially recover from the death blow delivered by Hank Paulson, George W. Bush and the so-called bailouts of 2008. Secondly, the presence of Chinese soldiers on our soil will soon become so commonplace. Most of the American sheep will scarcely notice and when martial law is declared, the Chinese will be invited to help. Third, when a major false flag event happens e.g. the use of earthquake weapons in the New Madrid Fault to initiate a tsunami in the Gulf of Mexico, because of their connected plate tectonics, the Chinese troops and their allies i.e. to be discussed in future articles will be rolled out in a form of a brutal genocidal martial law. Step and back and look at what was just written. Between steps 2 and 3, there will be a financial collapse of this country. Simultaneously, a power grid takedown will be initiated, unless the military can continue to thwart Obama just as they did, when America averted a grid takedown in November because of military intervention. I have written about various alphabet soup agency people and their families who have gone into hiding in specially prepared enclaves with their colleagues in anticipation to what is coming. Many, including one FEMA family that I knew personally, have repeatedly spoken about the taking down of the power grid. For DHS head, Janet Napolitano knows what's coming, as she stated in her farewell address, it is not a matter of if, but when the power grid will be taken down. Congressman Trent Franks or Dash AZ has been issuing the same exact warnings. In the next article, more dots will be connected as to what is coming. The fantasy football and the dancing with the stars crowd will never know what hit them and we cannot help them. However, you have a chance to save yourself if you begin to prepare right now, which is also a topic of a future article. In the meantime, store food, water, sanitation equipment and plenty of guns and ammunition. Do not forget to form alliances with other families when possible. For more information,